Retired New Haven police officer Jeffrey Fletcher has been collecting artifacts and objects related to African American history for years. And now he has opened the Ruby and Calvin African American History Museum, where the collection takes visitors on a journey from slavery to the civil rights movement. In this week's road trip close to home, News 12 photojournalist Lori Goliath takes us to Stratford. This is the only African American History Museum to date that I know of in the state of Connecticut and possibly New England. I'm Jeffrey Fletcher. I am the president of the African American Collections Incorporated. When you arrive at the museum, you will be going through a chronological tour or a journey, so to speak, and it will start on the continent of Africa. This is where it all started. Now, when you go through these exhibits, you will be experiencing audio and visual as if you are immersed in the scenes. So in this space here, I wanted to replicate what it was like to be in a slave ship. This is what we call the plantation room. What they will see are artifacts, shackles, um, objects that were used on plantations to uh, oppress and to keep people under control. But I always, I, I hold pride for um, letting people actually touch these objects um, because I believe that in order for them to really get the true understanding of what it was like in the weight and how oppressive these things were, they have to feel them. They were actually used on, on human beings. And the 19th century was the beginning of kind of like negative uh, advertisements and um, stereotypes of African Americans. This is the, we call it the segregated movie theater. Colored people could not sit on the main floor. They had to sit in the balcony to watch a movie because they were considered second class citizens. And plus it was Jim Crow laws. This space is dedicated to Tuskegee Airmen. We're in the civil rights space. 100 years later. And in this room, I want to show all of the iconic uh, items that were um, reflective of Jim Crow. So these doors that are in this space were reflective of uh, a time when people of color could not use white women's bathroom, white men's bathroom. They had their own bathroom. This is a rich history. Um, it, it's, it's a difficult history, we get it, but we try to make it as inviting and less uh, uncomfortable for you when you come here. I make sure that everyone that comes through these doors understand there is no stupid question. This is the place to ask those questions. I look at this as being, one, for the community here, a destination. I look for it to be a place where it will bring foot traffic not only economically, but also um, educationally and historically. 